Hello, my loves. Today we'll be making our soon-to-be famous bean pies. Okay, those were those good old navy beans in which you can see I've just taken out of the screen. Um, in a hurry. Okay, there they are again. This recipe also calls for about four pies. It's going to make four pies. I have um, an extra pie crust on each one of those. As you can see, we'll be sprinkling in some good old cinnamon in these pies and some good old nutmeg in these pies. Um, also, some almond flavor. And we'll be using some vanilla flavor for this recipe as well. Okay, and I think uh, right now I'm scrambling and looking for my two cups of pure cane sugar. The best. The best. And we have two teaspoons of all-purpose organic flour. As well as we're going to use four eggs in which I'll, you know, mix these up later on before putting them in our mixture and as you can see a stick of butter oh, well um of course you can see i have a uh, half two half sticks of butter but okay here we are going to use two cans of milk evaporated milk that is okay looks like we have all of our ingredients especially the main ingredients navy beans the best soon to be famous navy bean pies the best the best As you can see, I am now mixing up my melted unsalted butter. I don't know if I said that earlier. So I'm just mixing it up a little bit. And I'm about to whip up these eggs. Come on, eggs. Oh, they fighting with me. Okay, okay. Let me pull their heart. All right, all right, all right. Okay, you gave in. As you can see, I had to kind of gain some control. Okay, there they go. All right, let's have fun with this. Good old navy bean pies. The best. The best. As you can see, I was just having a little fun with those eggs. It was, you know, giving them a hard time at first. All right, now we're gonna enter in our good old navy beans in our food processor and mix those up very well. As you can see as well, I also drained those navy beans, just so you know. I did drain them before I put them into the food processor. I don't know about you guys, but I really do enjoy baking. Um, and as you can see right now, I'm actually mixing it in a little bit, just making sure all of my beans do get blended up in the food processor.
All right. The main thing about this step right here, we're just going to make sure that it's blended. All of the beans are blended up perfectly fine. Okay, as you can see, we have our mixture of our beans in our mixing bowl. And now I'm about to put, uh, that is the eggs, those four eggs that I mixed up earlier. And you see I'm getting every drop of that egg out of that bowl. All right, and that's our butter. Our one stick of butter, of course. And you see I actually went back to make sure I had gotten every drop of that. All right, now we're gonna mix in our two cups of pure cane sugar. The good stuff, huh? This is the goodness of the pie. Oh, no, I take that back. It's actually the navy beans are the goodness of the pie. All right, making sure I put down every little drop of that as well in there. All right, putting in our two cans of um, evaporated milk, which is the same thing equivalent to two cups of evaporated milk. Okay, now at this point, we're gonna sprinkle in some good old ground cinnamon. And as you can see, I'm going to give it a very reasonable amount. Um, as well as we're about to sprinkle in some nutmeg. And I was very generous with both. As you can see, I didn't make measurements of these um, because I usually cook from the sole. So, you know, to each his own, everybody doesn't like, you know, a lot of cinnamon. Some people probably don't like a lot of nutmeg, but this is what I used. And I used, uh, like I said, a generous amount. Now we're going to add four um, topfuls or capfuls of the almond flavor. And I, as you can see, I used my little caps off the top of the flavor. And now we're going to do the same with the vanilla flavor. We're going to add in four capfuls of those. Okay, as you can see, I had started mixing up my mixture of everything, and I forgot that I did not add those two tablespoons of the organic all-purpose flour, in which I'm doing that now, and now I'm going to mix away some more. Okay, as you can see, here are our end results, pretty much. Our pies are all filled evenly as you can see I think it looks gorgeous even before it goes in the oven it looks so good <laughs> oven was preheated for 350 350 degrees that is pies are in the oven look at these golden beauties the best the best and soon to be famous bean pies as you can see, they are golden brown. And oh my gosh, I wish you guys could see, actually see how they are bubbling with perfection, of course. As you can see, I have sliced a little piece. All right, as you can see, I'm giving you a good old 360, that is. Good old 360. Uh, good old side view of that famous, soon to be famous, bean pie. All right, you guys, you see I have my fork and I'm ready to eat. 
give you a close up. It is absolutely delicious, you guys. Alrighty. See you guys later. Peace and good eats.